Welcome into Wager Talk TV. Alongside Tony Mejia and Andy Lang, I'm Megan Payton. NFL Week 8 is here. The Arizona Cardinals head to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. Minnesota, three and a half point favorites. Total at 49. Vikings coming off a bye. Arizona coming off a mini bye after their Thursday night win against the Saints. When I think of these two teams, I'm thinking high-powered offense, struggling defense. I'm a little bit um, interested in the over 49. I think that we're seeing a very healthy Minnesota team, first off. They're one of the healthiest teams in the NFL. The Cardinals most likely getting running back James Conner back. DeAndre Hopkins will uh, start for his second week in a row. Tony, I'll come to you first. How do you go about handicapping Cardinals and Vikings? Well, Megan, I don't know about you, but I'm a little surprised at the at the line here. I thought uh, with the Vikings coming off a of bye, they'd be laying a little more than they are right now. But, I mean, I think that is a nod to what we saw from Arizona offensively uh, now that they do have their number one wide receiver back. And we saw a little bit more of the Kyler Murray we expected to see uh, when the season began uh, as opposed to the, the player who struggled uh, as as much as he did without DeAndre Hopkins available to him, Hopkins with 10 catches uh, against the Saints and uh, the ability to really make everything easier for the rest of that offense. Uh, so will will we see Minnesota do the same thing with uh, with, with you know, the fact that they have uh, Jefferson doing coming off a bye and being healthy? Uh, I, I would agree with you. I think the the total is the way to go here, and it would be uh, to ride the. Uh, high side in terms of uh, points in this game. So long as uh, we see both teams execute in the red zone, I think we'll get there. Yeah, both teams top 15 in points per game. I'm a little bit hesitant on their defenses. Uh, uh, Andy, I'll come to you with props. Justin Jefferson, over 100 yards in his last three games. That's something I'm eyeing, but what player props are you looking out for for Vikings Cardinals? Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just Take your tight ends over their total against the Arizona Cardinals. So I'll be looking at Irv Smith. We're recording this on Wednesday. So I'm not really sure what the receiving total is. If it's less than 35 and a half, I'm definitely firing away. If it's a few yards more than this, I still I still feel pretty confident. We could also look at his receptions if it's three and a half or lower. But uh, let me give you a list of players here. Uh, Juwan Johnson, Noah Fant, Dallas Goddard, Tommy Tremble, Tyler Higby combination of Darren Waller and Foster Murrow for the Raiders and Travis Kelsey. These are all tight ends that have gone over their receiving totals against the Cardinals. It's just been one of these plays that's uh, every week you just take the opposing tight ends of the Cardinals. And I think we're, we may get a really good line when it comes out. He's coming off of a pretty unproductive game. Uh, Irv Smith is four targets, but he caught all four passes only for seven yards. He did catch a touchdown. But you look at his games before that, 42, 23, 32, 36. So hopefully we get a little bit of soft line because of a bad performance last week. But uh, I'm going to stick with fading the Arizona Cardinals tight end defense. I'll take Irv Smith over his total. I love a fun fact, so I just want to throw this out. I read somewhere this week that the Vikings are 10-1 in in all games that start before or at 1 p.m. Eastern in October and November. I don't know if that's like kind of one of those like deep dive research facts, but I like looking at that stuff. Great stuff from Andy and Tony. We appreciate you every single week. More from them on Twitter, at Dinero Mejia on Twitter. I'm sorry, that's at Mejia Dinero and at Bump Sports for Andy. Also on wagertalk.com. Thank you both, and let's dive into more for NFL Week 8.